Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. What is it going to take to keep silver prices up? What will it take to narrow that ratio between gold and silver? That's what we're going to answer in today's video. Stay tuned. That's right. You know, it's a perplexing thing. Silver has been languishing for quite a while. And by languishing, I'm talking about really the gold to silver ratio. It has been above 80 for quite a while now. And that's relatively unusual. But it is almost as if that has become the new norm. I think there's several reasons for that. And I also think there is a, a reason why... Um, that will probably continue to be the case until the one factor or maybe two factors come into play that will help narrow that ratio. So let's kind of take a look and examine what has happened to silver since 2011. You know, as, as we know, silver got up to almost $50 an ounce and that was a very exciting period. And as we saw the prices start to come back down, around 2012 and 2013, which is about the time I started this channel, well, people were very excited because they thought, well, the prices are going low and uh, we're going to pick some up because it's going to go up again. And I was even fooled into that line of thinking as well, thinking, well, the new norm is going to be this $50 an ounce. But in reality, it only got to that level for a very short amount of time. But it did stay pretty high for a while. And ever since 2011, we've not seen it go down to levels in terms of price that we saw before 2011. I remember a time when silver was trading at 4 and $5 an ounce. But I also remember a time when silver was trading around 9 10 11 and $12 an ounce. And uh, so that is the kind of uh, time period and time frame that we are working with. And now that silver has moved back down to the uh, sub $15 level, people are now starting to get discouraged. So you have a lot of people that have sold their silver. There's a lot of people that sold their silver when it was high. They were smart. Uh, make no mistake about it. Those people who have accumulated silver in the form of stacking, well, they profited from silver. It's one of the very few times where that can happen. And uh, most people who bought when it was high, and uh, they sold when it was cheap because they got uh, very discouraged about that. And a lot of people have been selling, and they still are. In fact, when, when people see prices go up, like recently we saw it go up to like $19 an ounce, some were selling, thinking, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out and cut my losses. It won't be as bad for the silver that I bought at $22 an ounce. And so they're selling off. And it's understandable. It is quite understandable for people to feel discouraged about silver prices and about where they have gone over the, over the years. But what's more incredible is that silver-to-gold ratio. That silver-to-gold ratio... Uh, averaged really throughout the history, or since it's really been measured, around 50 to 60 to 1. So it's obvious that it is it's higher now. But I think it's because of the perception of gold and silver have become quite different um, recently, and really for the last few years, ever since really 2011. And even since 2011, we're seeing a lot more... Um, silver being utilized and being recognized as a commodity. Silver is, has been more diversely utilized in things like industry, biomedical science, and, um, and everyday living. You know, it's, it's, it's being utilized more and more. There was a time when silver was used in photography, and that use of silver in photography has now waned away and been replaced by things like um, electronic vehicles, electronics in general, such as iPhones and the like. It is the best conductor of electricity out there. So we're seeing it utilized more and more, especially in the photovoltaic um, uh, solar industry. It's being utilized a lot there. And 
Make no mistake, silver is being discarded. More than half of the production of silver is in landfills. Now, as you know, that is recoverable, and it could be recovered. It's just not uh, reached a price point where that kind of demand is necessary. And that leads me to how it's being treated as a commodity. You've heard me say that before, that silver is treated more so as a commodity than as a hedge. Gold is treasured. Silver is utilized. And that's the difference. And that is why uh, people that accumulate silver uh, for as a hedge or as a way to protect themselves like gold, those people are getting discouraged. And uh, there's less and less of those people uh, around that felt like they've got the shaft when it comes to silver. And again, that's quite understandable. But it is a patient game if it if you want to compare it to a game silver is a waiting man's game and it's one of those metals just like gold where it's best just to hold on to it and that leads me to kind of where it is more than half of the silver out there is in landfills if you see this silver before you here a lot of this silver has been produced it is no longer on the market why is it no longer on the market because I kept it. That's right. Some of these pieces, some of these early pieces here may have gotten quite a long time ago. And ever since then, this is one ounce. And here's other ounces here that are no longer on the market. They are off the market. That means this silver cannot be counted in production or what have you because it's in my hands. And it will maintain its uh, status in my hands for quite some time. In other words, I'm not selling. In other words, hold on to your silver, folks. That is the first uh, key, I think, into um, maintaining high prices or higher prices. If more people hold on to their silver and don't sell it, uh, that means that uh, it's less silver in the market uh, for purchasing, and that means that could potentially lead to higher prices or, more importantly, a narrowing of the ratio between gold and silver. Because gold, a lot of it is being taken off the market by central bankers. Um, and by the way, that's why I encourage us here in this community to accumulate more gold. If you're a hardcore silver stacker, I feel you should also accumulate some gold. Why? Because it is treasured. Treasured uh, uh, pieces are, that means that there's a demand for it, that people want it, and we should accumulate it um, to um, hedge ourselves against uh economic instability silver is the same way even though it's not seen quite as much uh, like that even by some members of this community especially gold bugs out there um, they don't see silver as that uh, ultimate hedge um, or as that hedge um, gold is the ultimate hedge but silver is indeed a hedge but it's something that requires i believe even more so patience than holding gold and uh, it's going to take a while. You know, if you go to sell your silver, um, even if you uh, sell it at a dollar more an ounce than what you paid for it, well, you're going to essentially lose in that proposition because they're going to basically take some percentage under spot and uh, minus premiums. You're not going to re recover your premiums for most of the stuff like, like what you see before you hear. Uh, this stuff is just going to be basically sold for melt. Um, but nonetheless... It is something that um, holding on to the metal itself, I believe, uh, will help prices overall. Now, make no mistake, there are going to be times where you have to sell or you need to sell. And those times, you know, it's totally understandable. If you find yourself in a position where you have to sell in order to make ends meet. But if you don't, if you have the luxury of holding on to your precious metals, I encourage you to do so. That's number one. The second reason uh, why, or the second reason I think is going to tr contribute to a narrower gold to silver ratio and uh, the prices of silver to catch up to where gold is, is to see more demand for physical silver. Physical silver in the form of coins, rounds, and bars. That's right. We need to see an increase in demand in the physical. It's encouraging to see new uh, um, members of the community or new users pop on 
on, on my channel and uh, talk about how they have um, started to st stack silver. They're just starting. They've picked up 10 ounces or what have you, or they bought their first ounce. That's an encouraging thing to, um, to hear and to see. But uh, really, we need a lot more of that. We need new people coming on board, and we need to see the existing people um, accumulate more silver. Now, I will preface that, too, by saying you should not buy anything um, outside of your financial means. It's always going to be fiscally responsible, and I'm not encouraging anybody to accumulate silver outside of their budgets. However, I do believe that if we see a steady increase overall in general population New stackers, new folks getting involved and realizing that really silver is at a point now where I believe it is uh, somewhat undervalued uh, because there has been a lack of demand in the physical uh, accumulation of coins, rounds, and bars. And if people buy it with the understanding that it is a hedge, it is a way to preserve your wealth and not create it, uh, then I believe that uh, we will start to see the prices catch up to gold in terms of the ratio um now make no mistake we're seeing movement in the markets where when the prices of uh of gold goes up silver goes up more when the price of gold falls silver falls more and that's discouraging to some folks but that is the nature of the beast these days silver is a much more volatile metal because of the reasons i've mentioned however i do believe that as more people accumulate silver in the physical form, you will see that ratio tighten up a bit. And really, that's kind of what we want. Uh, we're discouraged right now as silver accumulators. And so we should uh, strive to um, continue to buy um, when we can. And um, I'm doing it on the side. I'm trying to c accumulate more gold. But, uh, you know, there's, there's this part of my strategy that is still in silver as well. Um, but uh, nonetheless, it's something that we should all consider, and I think it is quite valuable to, um, to – there's something to be said for being patient and holding on, um, even when times are rough with this metal. And so there you have it. Post your thoughts below. Do you have any other ideas? Um, do you disagree with that assessment? Be curious to see what your thoughts are below. would like to extend a multitude – of gratitude to all of you for taking the time to watch this video and I want to encourage you to please rate share comment and subscribe